Hello everyone, Professor D here. Today, we're going to go over how to create a drag and drop activity. Now, you can make a drag and drop activity out of any subject that you desire. In this case, I made a drag and drop activity for algebra, everybody's favorite subject, correct? Okay, so in this particular drag and drop activity, you can move the answers to the blank line. So it says solve the problem by selecting the correct answer under the possible answers. So here's the possible answers and then it says then put the answer on the blank line above. So I can move the answers to any blank line. So just let me say that I am working on a computer that I'm not used to as of yet. So if I click on my possible answers, I can move them around to any answer, any of the blank lines, okay? So in, if this was a real case scenario, I would have this bottom portion under possible answers filled up with a, a, about 25 to 30 different numbers. And some of the numbers I would duplicate so that the students could select the numbers. Of course, they would work this out on their paper, by paper and pencil, the old-fashioned way, and then they would select the answers. So let's get started so you can learn how to make a drag and drop activity. First of all, we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to New, and we're going to go to Presentation because we want a new presentation. And when this opens, we're going to click on the X for themes because we don't need that. And then we're just going to highlight where it says click to add title and subtitle. And we're going to click delete because we want to start with a blank slate. Now, when you start, you either have to have your math problems worksheet already created or you go to the internet and find a algebra or whatever your subject happens to be the worksheet. So in my case, I found a worksheet, a PDF, on the internet. So I'm going to use this one. And what I did was I went down to my search area and I'm clicking on snip. So this is the snipping tool. And I'm clicking on the snipping tool so that I can cut the information that I want to take out of this PDF worksheet. So I'm going over to mode on the snipping tool. I'm going down to rectangle, and then I'm going to highlight exactly what I want to cut out of this worksheet. And that's perfect. Now I'm going up to the file, and I'm saying save as, and I'm going to save it as math one. And I already have math one, so I'm just gonna override it. Yes, I want it to be overwritten. In your case, it wouldn't be. Then I'm going to X out of it. I'm going back to my presentation. And then I'm going to start putting together my drag and drop activity. First of all, I'm going to get a text box. And I'm going to make it. So what I'm going to put in this text box is the direction. So if I go back over to my drag and drop activity, it has the directions at the top. So that's what we're going to put here. We're going to put directions at the top. So it says solve the problem by selecting the correct Okay, let me just use, okay, there we go. Selecting the correct answer under possible answers. For some reason today, I can't type. Then put the answers. on the blank line below. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my font. I'm going to grow my font to about 29 
think that's going to be a pretty good. Don't want to make it too big. There we go. And then I want to center my text. And then I want to make my text a specific color. So I think I'm going to make it blue, dark blue. All right. And then I'm going to make it bold so that everyone can see it. And I'm just going to make this just a little bit larger. And then I'm just going to pull this up a little bit so I can get my problems here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my algebra problems. So I'm going to the insert command. I'm going to image. I'm going to upload from my computer. I know that I call this particular image math one. So I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, so when I snipped it, I did not uh, do a good job in snipping. So let me do that again because my E for evaluate is not there. So let me go back and use the snipping tool one more time. And I'm going to say rectangular. I'm going to go up. I want to make sure I have that E. And then I'm going to file, save as. And I'm going to save it as math one again, math one PNG. It's overwriting it, which is fine. Okay, let me take this one out and go back to insert and insert my image. And I know this is math one and here it is. Now that looks better. Okay, because I don't want my students to say they couldn't understand it okay here we go so you can make your image as small or large as you want it i'm going to just make uh my instructions just a little bit smaller so that i can pull this my math problems up just a little bit there we go so i want everything to fit on here so you can adjust um exactly like you want to now at the bottom i need to have a label that says possible answers so i'm going to create a text box click on the text box and i'm going to type in possible answers okay and i'm going to highlight the words i'm going to make it dark blue i want to bold it i want to grow it just a little bit and then i want to center it okay so i want to make it just a little bit bigger possible answers okay there we go and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this up just a little bit all right so we have everything all the instructions where we're going to put the possible answers the instructions we have the worksheet then we have where the possible answers are going to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go to file and we're going to say download and we're going to download this as a JPEG. Okay? Because we don't want this to move. So we're going to download it as a JPEG. All right. So that should be under my downloads folder. So I'm just going to check to make sure it is under my downloads folder. And there it is. Okay, perfect. And it says untitled presentation, which is perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to click on new and I'm going to say presentation because I need to start again. And not from the beginning, but this is the second part of the drag and drop activity. So let me get rid of themes, and I'm gonna get rid of the click to add title. So now what I'm gonna do is, I have a blank slate, I'm going to insert, and I'm going to insert from my computer, and I am going to insert from the downloads area which is my untitled which is everything that i created right 
because this is the part the reason i'm doing this is because i do not want students to be able to move this so really what i should do is click on right click say change background and then say image this is just a better um, idea to do it so that the students can't move it okay and then say done now the students can't move this at all all right if i just lay the jpeg on top of the slides the students would be able to move it so um creating it or bringing it in as a background so that they cannot move it see I, i'm not able to move this at all is a better idea so there we go thinking on the fly right so now we're going to make our possible answers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the text box and i'm just going to make a little box and then what i'm going to do is go to the fill color and i'm making the box you can make the color any color you want i happen to make it yellow i'm going to type the number one in there and then i'm going to highlight that one and i want to make sure i'm centering the one did, it, did i center it there we go and this looks a little big i, I need it to be able to fit nice and neatly on top of the line okay so it could be just a wee bit smaller okay so that's perfect all right so i centered it but let me center it uh, horizontally as well so I wanted to center it horizontally and vertically. So that's what I did. All right. So now, since this is now perfect, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy. And then what I'm going to do is control V on my computer. And I'm going to do this as many times as I need to for the possible answers, right? So control V and I'm just going to change the possible answers to whatever I think the answers could be right so I actually do um, tutor algebra all right so those are the possible answers that I'm showing you so now when your sister brother or you I'm sorry that my alarm went off I am cooking as well so I do apologize um, now when you're, um, trying to keep someone active or you're trying to learn a subject yourself, you can go in and see if, you know, if you have it right now, you want to make sure this is not in presentation mode. You want to keep this outside of presentation mode so that you can move the possible answers. Okay. So everyone, that's it. I am so sorry that my alarm went off, but I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.